God. So Islam is saying that that's the truth concerning Jesus. And because of the confusion, about 600 years after him, a final messenger came, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all the messengers. And he came with the same message, that God is one and worship him alone. And this was the message of uh, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That's Islam. That's Islam? Yeah. All right. So now, uh, why, why, why is it that so every, every, every religion, religious structure, yeah, they think, they say, they say that they, they believe in it, they, like, they believe everybody, everyone thinks that their God is the, the true God. Uh -huh. Yeah? Yeah. Only a, per a person would only follow a religion if they think it's true. Okay, what? Remember, if, I, if uh, let's say I was born in in um, in, in maybe China. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's their culture. So they're gonna. They, it's not. You would you would take that way. If someone was born in India, if someone was born in Africa, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. people take that way. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, God when He created us, He gave us intelligence. He gave us, you know, understanding. Yes. Like, you're from Jamaica? No, I'm from Antigua. I just okay, Antigua. Okay. 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 So, for example, let me just say, without religion, without your parents teaching you, without your culture, yeah. do you know in your heart that it's bad to lie? Of course. Okay. Say, for example, an elderly person slipped, fell over. Yeah. Do you know in your heart to pick that person up is a is a good thing to do. Of course. Yeah. Like you, yeah, one yeah, you know yeah, you have yeah, to, yeah. and once you do it, you, you do feel good about yeah, yourself. Yeah, because it's natural. Like if I lie to you and you catch me out, I'm gonna feel some kind of uh, shame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have this naturally in us. Yeah, I understand that part. But but to recognize that there's one God and worship Him alone is also inside of us. When when someone comes, to, for example, and says that this this man here is God. Yeah. Okay, I'm born in a, I'm born in a society, a culture where people worship that man. Yes, that's that's the way it gets, becomes hard now because it's in your culture. You you came up and saw even the elders doing it, so you're not gonna think. No, no, no. But look, but look, mm. I can follow it. I can follow it. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you know, my heart and my intelligence is gonna say, this man. Yesterday he was a baby. Tomorrow he's gonna die. He becomes tired, he becomes sick, he uses the bathroom. This is not God. So it's, it's true, people, people follow their surroundings, but at the same time, you know, our natural disposition, our, our natural understanding, and our intellect will tell us that this is, this is not true. Okay, okay. So, so what I mean to say is, even if people are brought up in a certain culture or a certain environment, you know the truth is clear. Error is clear. So that means then you believe that God, God, God is not a natural, a natural being. Then it's, a, it's like a high super being. Then. Yes, he, because He's the Almighty. But remember the, 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 the Bible, the same Bible say, yeah. the earth is the Lord and uh, the fool is thereof. Remember the Bible say that the earth is the Lord. Uh -huh. And the fullness thereof. That means everything. How oh, what I got it from that? Because I was brought up in a Christian home. Uh -huh. I got it from that. Yeah. It's like if you, if you, when you inhale the breath of the, 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 the air, yeah. that's God. When you see the trees, when you see the nature, when you see baby born, when you see the animals, you know that's all that's all in God. Okay. I can see like you you look like a painter, yeah, okay. a carpenter, a worker. Yeah. If you now go and make a make a table, yeah. is that table part of you? Like, say, say for example, you you Probably. make you make a you make a lot of stuff. I, yeah. I can come along. I recognize. Oh, that's your work. Yeah. I can recognize it's your work. Yeah. But that table is not you. But it's not me. Yeah. But it's a part of me. Cause technically. No, it, it's 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 from your it's from your handiwork. Yes. But yeah. All yeah. of the things. Yeah. Then, yeah. That the earth put. Cause that yeah. tree, that okay. That same wood. Yeah. That I took and yeah. make that tree or that table. Uh -huh. It's from it's from nature. Yeah. And, and it's from the soil of the earth. Yeah. And, and he, I'm from uh, the soil of the earth. Yes. Same way. So yes. Differently. 
technically it's a part of me same way when you look no. at it that way no but the point being is the creator when he creates something that thing which he's created he owns it it belongs to him he made it the way he wants to it does what he wants but it's not part of him he's he's separate that's why he only he deserves to be worshipped and anything which is worshipped other than him is falsehood. So, okay, let me ask you a question now. Like, say for example, the tree you said. Yeah. God made a tree. Yeah. Can I cut it down with an axe? Depends on what you're going to do. That if you have a good reason. But can I? Do I do I have, do I have the human ability? Yes. Okay. Are you saying that I cut down a part of God? For a special reason. You but you think that tree is a part of God? Yes. Because the earth is the Lord and the fool is there. But the God is the... If, the you, God. if you cut down that tree, yeah. let's say a tree uh. going like that, that goes there. Yeah. And you cut down that tree. Yeah. That's not the death of that tree. Totally, that tree is going to spring up somewhere else on the earth. Uh, but that tree had a beginning and it has an end. And that tree itself is in need of water, is in need of sunlight, yeah. is in need of the earth, is in need. The Creator is free of all needs, self-sufficient. L let me put something to you. Uh, in the Quran, the Quran it makes things very clear. Uh, chapter 112. So it's in, it's, it's in English for me? It's in English, yes. Okay. But the thing is, we tried to read the Arabic because that's the original language it came down in. Yeah. But obviously we have translations to make it easy. But So chapter 112 is just four verses. Every child's memorized it. Kul hu Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakulluhu kufuwan ahad. These four verses, they describe God completely. Say, He, Allah, is one and unique. He is one and alone. Yes. Allahu samad. Allah is as samad. As samad is, is one of His names, which means that He is self sufficient. Everything is in need of him and he is not in not in need of, of anything and everything depends on him The third verse lam yalid wa lam yulad He was not born and none is born from him God the Almighty was not born and none was born from him Okay and there's nothing like him, there's nothing comparable to him. Okay, let me ask you a question, because since I was a little boy, uh, I used to ask my teachers the same yes. question. Uh -huh. I'm still asking the same question. Okay. God created us. Yes. Yeah? Yes. So who created God? That's okay. a hard question. None of my teachers could have answered that when I was a young boy. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's a question I was asking from my little boy. Let me let me ask you a question. <laughs> the reason why no one asked answered your question yeah. is the problem the answer or the problem the question. Oh, that's a pretty good news. Well, I don't think the, the, the question is a problem. Okay. I think if the answer, if, uh, well, I, I, I just I think I just can't get an answer. Okay. From our perspective, the point is that when everything we, comes from something, everything uh, comes from something. No, everything that comes into existence comes yes. from something. Yes. So something which didn't exist, it had to be brought into existence. But God, in order for Him to be God, in order for Him to be worthy of worship, He has perfect names and perfect attributes. He is the first without a beginning. He's the last without an end. So the Creator has, has always existed and always will exist. He's always been the All-Knowing. He's always been, always been the Almighty. So when someone says, for example, okay, if God made me, who made God? The moment you say, who made God? That's not God. Because then that thing is going to need something to make it. And that thing is going to need something to make it. And that thing is going to need something to make it. So the reality is God, Allah, has always existed. He is the, the first without a beginning, the last without an end. Let me yes. ask you a question. Yes. Yeah, you know, so, so, so let me just, so the point being, without being disrespectful, the problem here is not the answer. The problem is the question. The question doesn't make sense. Because you, as soon as you say God, 
it has to be the one who wasn't created and created everything. But creation yeah. is physical. Yes. Right? Yes. And everything, okay, everyone, yes. I think, yeah. I honestly believe that you have two worlds. You have the spirit world uh, and you have the physical world. Okay. Yeah, do you believe everyone has a soul? Yes. All right, so you believe souls have the potential to die? See, the thing is... Just answer that question for me. I will, but you know every question is not yes or no. Every, some, <laughs> everything in life is not black and white. Sometimes... <laughs> see, the soul. We know we have a soul. Yes. The, the soul, when we was in our mother's stomach, according to the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, at four months, an angel was commanded to blow the soul into uh, our form, inside our mother's stomach. So we have a soul, but this soul has been created from the Creator. This soul is in my body. No doubt, every soul, every person shall taste death. I am going to die, but the soul will carry on. But the soul will either be in paradise or in hellfire. But, but this soul will continue because the Creator has created it that way. But the soul is still created and it had a beginning. Whereas the Creator, the Almighty, is uncreated and never had a beginning. If you see what I mean. But the, re the reality is that any person who uses their, their intelligence, uses what they have, they recognize there has to be a creator. You know, I'm going to have to go. No problem. Oh I'd like to have a no problem. further, further no problem. No problem. We're here every Saturday, anytime. Every Saturday. Yeah. All right. But if thanks, we have one. I'll, I'll, next Saturday, I'll maybe I'll no come a little bit earlier. No problem, no problem, yeah, sir. Because okay. I, I like to have a further reason, man. No problem. There's a lot of things they want to say to you. No problem. But I have to meet my bridge in the car. No okay. problem, it's good to meet you. So, Thank yeah, you for your yeah. time. All right, this Okay, right all the best. Take care. Every Sunday, every Sunday, what day are you? Every Sunday. Um, I'm ready to have a conversation with that. Uh, our brother, it's been, it's been uh, two weeks now, this is his third weeks. I said he can have a conversation. Oh, I, I'm ready for him anyway. Yeah, but I said he can have a conversation, but we're going to limit it to half an hour. Okay, yeah. inside or out? In, in, anywhere. But, but as long as I'm just, I'm just, I gave you the heads up. You can have it here. No, bring it here. I'm bring it here. What is that? Is that Larry here? Inside or outside? <laughs> yeah, half an hour. Hello, sir. Larry. How are you? You want to come in? Come this side. It's up to you. What about the lighting? Is it okay? Inside is or outside? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 